What's up everyone, I'm Jace of HerniaSurgeryRecovery.com and Defy Fitness. And I'm home from hernia surgery from Shoulders Hospital. It's been about two weeks and I want to give you an update of how my recovery is coming along. First, let's look at how I was walking the day I got back. Now, I did go to work the day after coming home from the hospital as being a personal trainer allows me to sit and stand as much as I need to. Hey, let's roll the tape. I'm trying to walk as normal as I can. So to do this, my speed is fairly slow. I still do have a slight limp and I couldn't stand and walk around much uh, without at least discomfort. So I try to minimize it. Once a day, I did go through my exercises on herniasurgeryrecovery.com and I did go to the gym and just use machines at a very light weight to get my body moving. After each session, I would ice my incision site for about 20 minutes and I try to do this just a few times throughout the day. Sleeping was okay, but not that comfortable as I'm a side sleeper and I was forced to stay on my left side. The pressure of my leg on the top of the other leg caused discomfort on the decision site. So I slept with a pillow between my knees to give my wound some space. I could not lay comfortably on the same side as my wound on the right side as the mattress would press against me and cause pain. So my daily activities were kept at a minimum to help with my healing. I mean, I did exercise, um, but in my opinion, that's controlled and specifically geared towards healing from the surgery. Driving felt okay, but sitting in the same position for more than an hour definitely got me stiffened up. I could walk, but it was slow and I carry a duffel bag to work. I would take two trips with my bag to ease the discomfort. And I could not carry a basket of laundry or shovel snow. I could load and unload the dishwasher and also cook. Now every day I generally got better and better, but I found a significant difference 10 days after surgery. Let's compare some of the main points from day four to day 10. So here is my walking again at a normal pace, but I do notice still a slight limp. The discomfort is minimal and I don't feel the need to ice after walking. Sleeping is much better at the two week mark, but still with a pillow between my knees, generally not comfortable enough to be on my right side to sleep, but I do find it much easier to turn from one side to another and get up out of bed. My daily activities are pretty much back to normal. I'm able to do most chores now, but still cautious when lifting anything heavy, like shoveling heavy, wet snow. I'm still doing my exercises from herniasurgeryrecovery.com and going to the gym. I am back to the gym and using about 90% of the equipment that I used before and pushing at about the 65 to 75% mark of what I was doing before surgery. So I can definitely say that I've come a long way since surgery. And like most things, the last five to 10% of improvement takes the longest. That's why it's so important to remain active and continue to push a little out of your comfort zone. Remember that everyone's different with their hernia, their surgery and lifestyle. So if you take a little longer to heal, that's okay. As long as you gradually come along. I'm Jace and I'll see you in the next one.